Hey YouTube! So today in this video is the beginning of um my the quarry playthrough. Um it's gonna be a long one. It's completely unedited and this was all streamed over on my Twitch. So if you would like to see anything live, uh the link is in the description. I also apologize for no captioning, however, seeing as this is a two hour long video. Um, I figured that it was probably for the best if I didn't spend hours of my life captioning and I will start doing YouTube captioning for longer videos. Yeah, have a fantastic day and enjoy the video! And we're going new game! Hang on, did I do subtitles? <laughs> subtitles better be on! <laughs> Hang on. Um. Oh wait, no. Oh wait, yeah, there we go. Uh, subtitles. Subtitles on. No, don't want close captions. Okay. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, David Arquette's in it. <laughs> Just. And, um, Ted Raimi. So, Sam Raimi's brother. Oh, and Brenda Song. There is a lot of people in this game. Um, a lot of wild people in this game. <laughs> this better not get me copyright clipped. Yes, very neat. Yeah, brand a song. <laughs> Just casually, you know. In a game where she can be killed. Brutally murdered. Siobhan Williams. Laura. Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. Begins with an L? Like the L word? Lesbians? Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right, so, lost. That's debatable. Lesbians. Oh. <laughs> Take a moment to consider the following, as it will guide you through the various twists and turns that may appear during your stay at Hackett's Quarry. What you see here are quick time events, or QTEs, which will help you to act at just the right time. Watch your step. Hackett's quarry can be a dangerous place if this you're not is It's great, honestly. Take your eye off the ball, and it could spell disaster. It's such the a good way to, like... Is yours to choose. Tutorial. There won't be what a way to introduce QTs, honestly. Honestly, it's great. Oh, heads up. Oh, damn it. <laughs> nice catch there, hon. Hmm. I'm not the one who hit the pothole. Well, maybe the pothole hit us. Ever think about that? Wow, that is like Olympic level goalpost moving. Thank you. Very impressive. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, still totally lost. 
You know what, Max? It's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gotten lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Uh, Goodbye hot dogs. See you later, apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so... Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god. Okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Um. Map. <sighs> Voila. What is that? Yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, what happened to the, the normal map? This is the normal map. The one on the phone. No bars. Of course not. No signal. That's a great way to start a horror See, game. So we are... Well, I guess they don't put summer camps on maps. Have you seen any signs for it? Eyes on the road! Wait, eyes on the road! Jesus oh. Christ. Oh. Um. It's so cinematic though. It is. It's such a pretty game. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, still in one piece. Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? I think it was a person. Oh, are you serious? Do you think we hit a person? Well, no, we swerved off the road before you yeah. hit it. Really so, close. whatever it was. Really close, but maybe we didn't... What is it? I really have this car up. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh, I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. It's not so bad. My mom's gonna kill me. <laughs> Thanks, Nightbot. <laughs> um, Snoop, okay. Rejected, okay. Thanks, huh? Yeah. Do you need a hand? Yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. Here you go. Perfect, thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. <laughs> and then, picture yourself coming up in front of a big old space heater. Well, anywhere's better than here. Spooky. Where are you going? Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. 
Um, let's be compliant. Or one of them. I feel like they're going to die, or one of them will Max, at least. Hurry yeah. Up. What's going on? I'm worried that there's somebody down there. Are you serious? Yeah, they could be hurt. I don't know. I didn't think we actually hit anyone. Well, I don't know. I just I heard something. Okay, like a, a woman. Do you think we hit her? I just want to check it out. Okay. All right. Just don't go too far. Okay. Be yeah. careful. Yeah. That wasn't in the game, if you heard that. That was just a dog barking outside. <laughs> Worried someone is hurt. Let's get out of here. Yeah, just... Okay. Luck with the car. Now, I want to go around this way. Investigate over here. I don't know. I feel like knowing how Until Dawn was, investigating like every little thing is a good idea. Like this, for example. Harem Scarum. Horizontal Dawn because my friend told me not to watch it because of the gore, but yeah. Yeah, it was a, a fairly gory game. Okay, let's go back. And look out of this bit. Ooh. An old box. I love about Josh because my friend likes him, yeah. Josh was a great character. Hello? What the hell? A broken cage. So in Until Dawn, you had to find these totems, which would like give you like premonitions as to how how people could die, and um, so you could like avoid it or make it come true for certain characters. Um, and I think I it's been a I, I don't know my memory's fantastic, uh, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure this game has something similar, which is why I'm looking everywhere. Terrifying, yeah. I'm 
controller because that's a cool concept. Yeah. That was cool. The just like glimpse of her just for a second. That was cool. Is this gonna be a QTE? I feel like it is. Yeah. It's okay, it's the woods. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's animals, it's easy to freak yourself out. No. Can we just leave, please? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Okay. Alright, I just looked at my arm. You, you can barely see it, but I just- I scraped my arm last night on, um, right. on a microwave. <laughs> yes, like, there we go. My I'm arm hurts. Like Max, come oh. on! Here we go, here we go. We're getting out of here. Are you kidding me? Max! I just- okay, give me a minute, give me a minute. We've got to go, Max! Laura, you're not helping right now. Can you just- I am trying to get us out of here! All right, just... enough! Shit, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Jesus! Oh, ah! fuck! That oh my god, my heart just exploded. My heart just explodes. Hi, officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Mm -hmm. Well, you folks want to tell me what happened here? Um. Hackett's quarry is full of twists and turns, unknown paths and unexplored wonders. With each step taken, you tread a path of your own, matched with its very own consequences. There will be moments throughout your stay that show you that the choices you've made, the path you've chosen, could have gone another way. At Hackett's quarry, there's no such thing as the wrong way. But be warned. Some paths are more dangerous than others. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh boy. Um. Let's just be honest. We, um. Uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved and. Now here we are. Something jumped out. Yeah, we didn't get a good look at it. An animal, or it was dark. Uh, I feel like we should probably. Uh, I'm sorry. Be it was, honest. It was so dark, and it happened so fast, and they were gone. I don't know. They. Ma'am, did Why you, did you lie about that? No, Literally, no, like. God, no, of course not. You know, I mean. Sir, keep the car running. The cop seems Sir? anxious. Oh wait, okay, hang on. Let me move my camera because that's a terrible place for me to be. Let's go like there. Is this kind of like the all-time scariest cop? I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. What, the, like, path chosen thing or, or other things like that in these games are so terrifying. They are. Ugh. 
it's just helping us get out of the mud. What a nice guy. Now you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night. Why are we thinking about being dismissive? Let's be friendly. We're heading up to Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. We're new counselors. You're one night early. No, no, we know. Um, but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out, you know? I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. <laughs> He's got something on his neck. You're not gonna make it to Haggett's quarry. Not tonight. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh, I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? Hmm. Why are the scouts always out? Like, they were out last night too. Anyway, <laughs> insistent or compliant? I feel like we should just be compliant. Just be like, okay, fine, whatever. Okay, fine, yeah, we'll head to the motel, understood. Uh, there's just one small problem. Uh... I forgot to spring for the middle of nowhere coverage plan on my phone. What he means is we're lost. Completely. Alright, ma'am. Step out of the vehicle. Wait, Whoa. what? I just want to show you how oh, to get okay. to the motel on your map there. Okay? Oh, for sure. Son, remain in the vehicle. Uh... Okay. Okay? This guy's creepy? Yeah. Okay. So, we... You don't need to lick a pencil! Right about here. Harbinger Motel... is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's quarry again? Well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel I would Motel nod to get out of the vehicle, yeah. First thing in the morning. Right. Harbinger motel stay on the road wait, 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 we'll, what we'll if there's do. someone out there yeah i'll have a look good night i feel like he knows more than he's laying on god i love cops slash s yeah aren't they just the best <laughs> Why is this guy just sitting there? Probably waiting for you to move. Um, no, why are we- why are we trying to get annoyed at Max now? Um, no, relieved. That guy was, giving me was weird. Major weirdo the dude vibe. needed like at least a dozen showers. Oh my god, I know. What was up with the thing? Did I, you see was, that? Was it blood? Nice to meet you. I don't think he can hear you. <laughs> I don't think he could hear you. All right, let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's Quarry. 
How'd you do that? I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing up. <laughs> Very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Yeah, I feel like there's a reason he's really telling you. He's advice of some creep ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep ass woods to go to some creep ass hotel. No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am. Oh my god, if he called me ma'am one more time, I was gonna shove that badge up his dick hole. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? I got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? I... 20 is debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kind of into ma'ams. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> Boops. Dragon, are you good? You gotta be kidding me. There's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This, I found a this thing. Is the difference. Uh. Hello? I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? Or he's dead. I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, well, it's just an abandoned car. This is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll beat the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nice to see you too, Dragon. Yeah. Is anybody home? I don't think so. I found a guy on how to fuck with the Brian TTS. Oh my god. No, don't know. Is it use the R search to describe the sounds often? Uh, yikes. Hello. Boop, 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 boop. Wee. <laughs> Let me in. Okay. Fire pit, tree walk, tree house, jetty, boat house, the lodge, car park. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Fun. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Laura, there's no one here. Come on. Just give me one more minute, okay? Okay, it wants me to- I feel like it wants me to head into that door. The, the yellow door, the like, basement door thing. So we're gonna, because we've explored everywhere else, and why not? Oh, I did not mean to do that. Hey! 
Hey, are you okay? Yo, welcome, welcome. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some help. It's going good. How are you? There's somebody in the bunker. I think they might be stuck. Stuck? Is it Mr. Hackett? I, I don't know. Just bring some tools so we can break the law. Hey, I'm back. We're gonna get you out of there. Hey. hey. Wait, what, what are these? I don't know. You just said tools. Why didn't you just bring... Look, there's someone in there. Good, not really bored, but chilling, I guess. Fair dues, fair dues. I'm not seeing anyone. What? No, look. I'm looking, I am. Let me see. There, there was definitely someone there. Okay, okay, so. Um. Okay, so with a hammer, we could have a weapon to defend ourselves. But with the wrenches, you can just put them together and, like, do that. Um. Hmm. What are you guys thinking, chat? What do you guys think? While I check my... Hammer time? While I check my messages from Micah. Hammer? Right? <laughs> Dragon's like, I'm gonna be different. No, I'm kidding. Uh, okay. Like the hair, it pops. Thank you, thank you. Right, we're gonna take the hammer. Hammer time. You sure? It's gonna be super loud. Uh. Let's do it. So, someone's trapped. I wanna eat the wrench. First run, yeah. Do it, no one's stopping you? Exactly, exactly. Crunchy. You've seen the evil dad, right? Hello? Fire. Oh my god, it's a bucket with fire in it. It's the fire bucket. Are you hurt? Do you exist? Be it once and I just gotta say it's good. Slow burn, but like all hey, the anthology it picks up. Yeah. Nice. He's just gonna vibe there on the oh, Jesus. Ian. Not Ian. And that's a corpse. Max? That's a corpse. Oh, a corpse. Like yes. Maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here, I swear. She just doesn't mention hey. the corpse. Maybe it's it was a corpse husband. A night, yes. You know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out, but I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination Max? I blinked that he was gone. Max. <laughs> what?
I think I'm leaving a lot. You think? Uh, yeah, we're gonna help him. I was about to say what kind of monster would not help him, but... I left him. Fair enough, fair enough. I was gonna say call me Kevin would leave him. He would, yeah. Syringed. I left him out of curiosity. Fair enough, fair enough. Does this look like the goddamn Harbinger Motel to you? Yes. Every little His eyes were shaking. Every little thing you do yes, it does. <laughs> Honestly. Sorry, we got lost again. Like, every motion of your hips, I feel the compulsion to pull you to my sweet lips. Is it a black magic spell you put me under? Ah, big moon. It's huge, Jesus. Majora's mass type vibes? It's literally, literally. Bird skulls. That's the plot twist. The moon suddenly crashes into the quarry at Hello, the end. My yeah. Friend. Welcome to the show. Hello. We are friends, aren't we? Sure. I've waited for you. I've waited. Yes. That's great to hear. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Oh, Think fantastic. of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting, yes, and terrifying. But if you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. We can help each other. You didn't find anything, and so I've nothing to show you. You need to look harder. The cards are out there. If you don't help me, how can I help you? We're supposed to be friends. You said so yourself. Search harder. Only you can find them. Okay, calm down. You don't want me asking what's like having there traps. It's weird. Out there, you know, secrets and lies, paths to uncover, on which I can shed light, if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. That's the reference to the camp. Uh, see? You're so epic and cool paper. Thank you, theater. Thank you. That you lady's are voice reminds me of the unicorn's voice from the last unicorn. Specifically when the unicorn says, do not boast, old lady. Your death sits in that cage and she hears you. Hack its quarry forever. My eye is so itchy. Jesus Christ, I think I need another antihistamine. I did take one today. Yeah, I did. Back at Quarry Summer Camp. It's 1953. Oh, 
that, that was all just the pro yes, that was all just the prologue. Ladies. Peace and love. See you later, kids. Yeah, hack its quarry forever. <laughs> you know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Let's be reflective. Hmm. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. You heard me. Okay, spell it. It's nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. <gasps> so she dumped her ass, huh? Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Can we get back in here? Hello, random guy sat underneath the house. No, we cannot. Okay. According to reports from the local paper, the North Hill Post, <clears throat> some hay bales caught fire during the opening. Hey, what are you, uh, what are you listening to? Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke. Good to know. He's listening to his favourite streamer, Paper Moons. That's what he's listening to. And you should too. My favorite streamer. Oh my god. Oh my god. This way to scrapyard. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Not in the mood sign. Okay, so the cabins are just up there. That's the only that and the scrapyard were the only things I didn't see. Right, now we can head inside. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's... I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just Dylan, please. Paper, you you are my mortal enemy. <sighs> cool. Thanks. <laughs> thanks, Dragon. You are too. Is Quarry Summer Camp? Hags Quarry Summer Camp was established way back in the in 1953, and it's still going strong today, nearly 70 years on. The body collar looks way too big to be for a dog. What kind of dog would be called Ian anyway? I'm sure multiple dogs are called Ian. I want a dog called Ian. What good enemies to have, it's so true. Oh, it's the window that we were shining our light through earlier. Don't fall. Oh, skill. Aw, something you would fall. <laughs> Ugh, horror. I hate horror. That's called irony. My favorite dog name is Sir Jefferson the Fifth of Amsterdam. That's a very good dog name.
keep out. Counselors only. I'm a counselor. Let me in. Hello. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you gonna help me with the bags or what? Nah, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! <laughs> Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. I like him, I hope he doesn't suck. Who? Um, Jacob? This guy? Yeah, yeah. He he's he's quite funny. I do enjoy him. Dark corridor. I'm always scared to say I, I, I like a character without finishing the thing they're in because what if they turn out to suck? Yeah. That's always a, a fear. Ooh, temperance. Tarot card. Man, that's a bad place to get stuck. Okay, I feel like that's foreshadowing. <laughs> is that blood on the ground or is that just rust? Right, now we can grab the bags. <clears throat> All right, got the bags. Great, all by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Playful. Oh, okay, so now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. <laughs> oh. oh, sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Ah, oh, sexy, huh? Hottest at camp by far. Okay, sure. Look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like second day of camp. <laughs> it goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby. Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H, and... Okay, are you almost finished? Please? Yep, that's it. That's everyone. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like... Blah, 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 blah. Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. 
Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? <laughs> Let's be defeated. Okay, okay, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe she does have, like, this superpower over me. But you know what? Maybe I like it. <laughs> oh, well, likes it. Check. Totally not in denial. Oh, Check. Okay. Wow, the, um, the fumes of... of Jealousy are just stifling over here. Excuse me? I'm just saying, I guess some girls don't have what it takes to hang with the big dog. You're a real charmer, you know that? Seize the moment. Let's be encouraging. I don't know why you didn't make a move on Ryan. You should have seized the moment. <sighs> well, can't seize the moment that never happened. Yeah, well, you can't wait for it to come to you. You gotta make the moment happen yourself. Oh, right. Chase the moment around all summer like a dog with two dicks until it dumps you on the last day of camp. Okay. Not gonna miss it, Caitlin. <laughs> okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here... Total uh, hypothetical. What exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. I feel like the rotor arm is a better bet and is less likely to end up with us having no car at all <laughs> like it's replaceable no jake no don't suck come on with me buddy i'll put you right back tomorrow no harm no foul up here my dudes why did they look like they're up to something hey jacob what no dude please D -d 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 oh yeah oh god um Boom. Oh. oh, there it is. Oh Ooh. man, good sight. Hypothetically, what if I broke your oh. car? Proceeds to break oh. cars two seconds. Proceeds to break, car, break car two freaks. seconds later. <sighs> yes. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have like charged up our phones like a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped in an emergency. Oh, man. Oh. Let's be friendly. Uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hookup. Okay, okay, okay let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, oh, I don't no, even know yeah, how to respond I, to I that. Figured. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. Abigail. Okay, my, my sub goal's blocking it, but it says Abigail, I promise. Wow, that's really good. Wow, she's really good.
Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh boy, you're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab but our it's bags. it's hot. Um, we're not leaving our bags, just... Okay, let's do it. We better not get into trouble. They I want, want a bear or something. Though. Yeah, break the door. Hell yeah. Gonna find out. So what? I'll just think it was a bear or something. Exactly what I said. In these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Girl bossy. Good point. All right, let's do this. On three. One. Two. Three. Ugh. Maybe a bear broke in and oh, stole two specific back. Maybe. A positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. <sighs> Emma is proud sure of you. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Thank oh, you, Emma. Oh my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right. Well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. Aww. This was little Izzy's. I want to play a game. <laughs> That's terrifying. Let's keep it. Maybe we can give it back to her. Let's it. get you back to Izzy. Freak show goes up in Why flames. Would this place be in the news. So scared for what's gonna happen because I know it's gonna go to horror any minute. Like any minute, yeah. Scrap from the local paper, the North Kill Gazette. It doesn't look recent. Something about a fire. Was it here at Hackett's Quarry? Hmm. I can't believe I'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. So I have to ask if she was really just talking to herself this entire time, but um, I say that as if I'm not streaming, which to people from the outside looks like I'm just talking to myself. Swing. She doesn't know how to use a swing properly. Jacob and Emma. Ouch. Let's hope Jacob hasn't seen this. That's almost better than being able to swing. Yeah. Humor. They made a ship name and it's called Humor. They really said let's add physics for the swing, but you can't sit on it. Exactly. Swimming pool. Emma's over there. Let's just head over to her. Hmm. 
Ready to roll? Let's do it. Let's do it. Finally. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. What? How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. <laughs> it's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Um, boop. <gasps> oh, oh, wow! Oh. <gasps> nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Okay, so, hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school, like, four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But, that's us. You and Nick could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Be our way, be on my way to uh, email my boyfriend. Uh, literally, uh, see, let's, let's take the scenic route. Yes. Sure, what's the victory? Two months, no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus my subs need me. I believe you. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious, what can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The holy trinity. Okay, so well, true. Really we're getting it. Oh no, you love me. <laughs> My favorite spot. The fire pit? <laughs> the island. Mad secluded, right? Is... Is that smoke? Oh. Sub to paper moons, share paper moons, and smash someone? that like button mm, of paper moons. So true. It looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should... We should probably, you know, get back. Oh, yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave it at you? Well, no, they're probably, like, all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, same. <sighs> I thought it was a head. It's not. It's a, like, a tree stump. Dylan. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here, anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> I mean, knowing the creators, it very well could have been it's ahead. Okay. I'll it could have been. Yeah. I'll just get before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up onto the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take uh, care of my own bag, thank you. Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. I think we she can, can take care of her own bag. take care of our own bag, thank you. 
cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. Has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? <laughs> it's about me. Yeah, what's it about? Listening to paper moons. Exactly. I think I was listening to a podcast about you. Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. No, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. I love this episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the Dorian and Diane Bull's ship name is adorable. What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Wait, what? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking Dennis? That's amazing. Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Uh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, they're supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around. Does it say Silas? Stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son. Ooh. Or kill you or something. I don't know, it's never really been clear. Anyways. Haga Haggett's Quarry. One or the other. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Let's be supportive. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. Thanks, Nightball. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Uh, yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. Oh We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. Yeah, had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. He's a little suspicious, yeah. Let's let's be annoyed. Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey, dude, I'm like the chillest flipping bro in the whole world, man. I just need some tunes for the ride, man. <laughs> all right, that's enough. Five minutes? Like, like five minutes, that's all I need, man. You said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just... Sorry, Ryan. He needs students. I'll meet you at the van, okay? Don't deny him the students. The students. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm tone. not fired, am I? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Oh, sorry. Hello. Yeah. Let's eavesdrop. What? The kids are kids. You can only do so much with them. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know what? I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. Hmm. Right. He's he's coming. You can tell he's coming. Move away from the door. Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. Like I mean, I heard. I uh, I mean, I was. I didn't hear what you were. Saying. We're cool, champ. Just come on in. Sorry, I pushed you out like that. Idiot. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys. Uh, no, end of summer. Busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. I wasn't listening to you. you. Know, to, to you, the least convincing defense ever, have. yeah. Leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Is everything okay? Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> That's suspicious. So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But oh, what? <laughs> Do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, of these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? Now let's be apologetic. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Okay, fair enough, yeah. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's Still that? Do. You guys don't Thanks, do David kumbaya Arquette. anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. The stories might be real. I know. Um. What do you mean he doesn't know kumbaya? Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Why? Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Right. Just give me a minute. Okay, sure. Where are Convincing. The good goddamn, Hello. are they? Amogus. Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? Please Does this man sort of know what car headlights are? That's I will the see real him again question. Next year. Caleb works at the scrap yard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? I actually could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage Ryan? all right. Yes. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Reynolds? <gasps> Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left them. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. Is he wearing... <laughs> 
got quite short legs. Love me, Brian Ryan. Me too. Me too. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. <laughs> yeah, Dylan, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. What's the problem? Ugh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing oh, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough, enough, both of you. Shit, come all on, right, come dude, on. Chill, chill, Let's go. dude. Oh, God. Damn it! I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Now I'm down. Damn it! Just a missing rotor arm. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Damn it. Maybe You're she right. should say something right. about, yeah. I don't know, the guy who literally yeah. asked how to destroy the yeah, car? Right. Literally. Boop. Call a cab? Like, there's so many options. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Do they need to get out that bad? Yeah, like... Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Got it. Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? I guess. I love the faces they make. It's it's great. Yeah, runner, he attracts star. Sure, whatever. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. So, what was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside. The group may need to lock the doors. I think so, you know, morning. Furious? It's just... Are you kidding me? Um... Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or... Or we could do something else. Like if I'm unlocked, what are you talking about, Dylan? What are you talking about? No Mr. Hackett, no screaming kids, just a bunch of grown ass adults ready to cut loose and it's not as casting fate, side. literally. Oh, hell yeah! SMH no plus ratio plus lock doors. R T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems Part. like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, dude. Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. 
Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin. Did they not hear him yelling to lock the doors, literally? Yeah, okay. Em, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. Exactly. Freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like, do none of them think like, he's worried about something for real? Stores. Stupid teens, literally. <sighs> he did seem pretty freaked out. I don't out. think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. No, 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 dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. Group's getting no, bored, you, Frank. Uh, well, you don't want to disappoint the daddy. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever, man. Peer pressure, literally. It's gonna be fine, man. Trust me. It's gonna be chill. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers, party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby. You go get some firewood. Uh, and They're out to take. Go to the stores yeah. for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. Or something. All right, let's do this. Um. Is that Carl from Detroit Become Human? <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> and that's just a man covered in blood. Oh, or maybe it's paint. <laughs> no, it's. it's Probably blood. OMG Carl! Ketchup. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's ketchup. <laughs> Defo jam. Oh, good point. Good point. It could be jam. Hunting season. That's a lot of food dye. Oh, it could be food dye, too. You're, you're not wrong. Hello. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Probably nothing we should worry about. Let's Probably nothing, found. yeah. Temperance. Temperance. <laughs> to be balanced. To consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Impeccable timing, Temperance. yes. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes... With temperance comes deferred gratification. There's more I can show you, if you like. Sure. Let's see more. I was hoping you'd say that. Forborn is forearmed. You'd better be going. Right. <laughs> it's still early. Okay. And the moon is bright, I can't tell if that was a death wait. or not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. Uh oh. It was an explosion of some sort. In the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? I'm sure that will happen, Emma. 
first course, filet au Jacob. Rich and full body, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Wow. What? Oh, you're gonna be the ones eating people? I don't think so, Looks yeah. It's like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. No, no, I'm gonna let him do it. I'm gonna actually, no, I'm gonna. Yeah! Whoa! And scene. I mean, I could have kicked it. You listened it for me. Okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? When he says dudes, he beep, sounds like Seuss beep, from beep, beep, um, beep, what Gravity Falls. That's what he sounds like. Beep. I was trying to, I was oh. sat there trying to think, like, uh, who does he sound like? It's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Helps me huh. dar for beers. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beer dar, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. Loved as if he's dead. It's locked. Gonna try anyway? Don't know what I was expecting. I thought so. What did you try? One, two, three, four. Oh. Oh, hell yeah! Oh! Jackpot! Hey, uh. She carried a watermelon. Check out my giant melons. Oh. See, you just cut a hole in it? Mm hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah. It's the most fun you could have with a hole in watermelon. Or, well, second most. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. I don't like the insinuation there. What's the first? What's the first, sir? Hands <laughs> Literally. These flyers are promoting a traveling show called Harem Scarum. The date listed indicates that it took place over six years ago. Interesting. Poor Melon. <laughs> Dude, are you just gonna be standing there the entire time while I search for cards? Who buys this crap? Jesus. Okay, so we could go in there. I have a feeling there's a card around here though. Is that a card? No, it's not. I got so excited there, dude. Quick 
quote too high, look for cheaper option next year. Blueprints for structural repairs on the largest chimney column. Judging by the scrawled annotations, this is not something Chris Hackett has the money to action right now. Damn. There could be a card in there though. Right, let me check in here. Card? Card? Okay, I do like the fact that it didn't say path unlocked. It suggests that we didn't need to do that to survive. <laughs> Yo! Is just a raid. We are okay. And Glitch, thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? I hope it went amazing. Uh, let's, let's, let, we're gonna call Jacob. But yeah, thank you so much for the raid. I hope your stream was amazing. What were you playing? What were you up to? Let's, let's call Jacob. Jacob! Come check this out. She was good, we were just chatting. Oh. Hell yeah! Alrighty then. Door, buckle up because you are about to meet your maker. Done. Nice. <laughs> Have a good stream. Thank you, thank you. Whoa. Fucking mother love. Good golly, Miss Molly. No wonder I kept this place locked up. I think he'll be pissed when we made a stash. What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... <clears throat> what does Jacob's design remind me of? Any or... man and Tom Holland? Whatever. Sure. Yeah. Alright. I now, can see, see him. We are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Oh. Hell yeah. <clears throat> In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. You're right, yeah. Jacob! Check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. You look like camping supplies. Oh, okay, um... There's tents back at the fire pit, so just let's let's go. Torn bags, torn hiking bags dashed with flecks of dried blood. Bun. Did, did a bear do this? Something makes me think it's not a bear. <laughs> I'll head out by. Okay, no worries, no worries. Have a fantastic oh, rest of your cool. day. Seven what? seven what three nine. A gun. Oh, cool. And, uh, code. This is a terrible idea. That's a terrible idea. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> For the safe, yes. Paper, did you ever find out if you're a male wife or not? Micah was just very confused about the question. Oh. Put it down literally, like... <laughs> So you're, uh, you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah, for bears. Okay, uh, well I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. Like what? Seven seven three nine. Seven seven three nine. All right. I'm in. Hey, very nice. 
Hello, welcome, welcome. Everything is because of a pair bear for these people. Jeez, literally. Oh, some fireworks. Oh, oh, fireworks? No. Yeah, but I don't think we should. No, 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 no. Emma. Galag. Oh no. Fireworks. I. That's what we saw. No. <laughs> I feel like fireworks are crossing a line. What? But you got a gun. Why can't I have firecrackers? Because the gun is for bear oh, protection. That's the thing, Jacob. The please, I want to like you. Literally. Fires. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Stupid forest fires. Somebody's gonna die if we take them. Hey, I found these like torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh! Oh! Stop! Stop! Stay right there. <sighs> oh, dude! Peanut butter butter pops. Dude, peanut butter fucking butter pops. What are butter pops? What are butter pops? <laughs> oh, like no. Jacob, but he's dangerous and doing bad things, literally. <laughs> I can't it. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> pop, pop, peanut butter butter pops. <laughs> pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop. Oh my god, they're like the greatest snack of all time. What are they? Are they like popcorn? Got a good no, minute. No, 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 no. Plus of flag. Paper only just saw my message on they're my like end. Oh no. Thing. Like their own subgenre of food snack. You know what? I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait. Is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. Oh my god, they're like 20 years old. Aren't okay. They? Look, they predate expiration dates. Well, well, you're gonna <laughs> love them. Well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. What's a wheelbarrow? Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds. No, what's a wheelbarrow? <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Wheelbarrow. Um, uh, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels, so you can put stuff wheelbarrow. in it Wheelbarrow, Jacob. Oh. Not wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow. <laughs> Ladies first. I feel like now I'm saying it wrong. Wheelbarrow. Which way? Oh, Jacob. Oh, Jacob. He's a himbo, I'm convinced. Literally. All right, the inner sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure, just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. Right, so it's completely dead. Podcast. Something makes me think it's gonna not be, it's yeah. gonna be like 100% right. by the time we leave. Friendly. Let's be uh, friendly. What's it called, the one that you're listening to right now? Uh, bizarre yet bona fide. So like ghosts and stuff. It's like, um, yeah, like the the weird and the wonderful, digging up weird mysteries and discussing if they're, well, bona fide. Boner vibe. Get it, boner. <laughs> Your wit knows no bounds. So, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? I love Dylan. Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird. Thank you, going Dylan. Stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on. What kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children going to have anyway? I don't like that insinuation. <laughs> Not Mr. H. I know. He's cool. It's always been cool to me. Ooh, a gun. Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris, Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Oh, of course it's for bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun to... Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Bears. Uh, bears again, yes.
What if bears crash the Dude, party? We're gonna be out partying in the woods tonight, all right? What if do the, the bears, bears try to crash? What do the bears just know okay, there's a gun it's, there? It's like yes, is bears said, a code word? Party, you I think protection. so. <laughs> well, I think that she was talking about condoms. I'm not gonna fuck a bear. The most dangerous thing I've seen in these woods is a pissed off squirrel. That sounds pretty scary. Okay, fine. I love Dylan. Well, we know where the gun is. He keeps is. saying bears are we to blame it. for a bunch of things, so literally, call, like. Man. Ooh, water. Ooh, trapdoor. Hello, what is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> actually, if there actually were bears and they got killed anytime they came into camp, then eventually they would stop coming because they would learn to not go. Fair enough, fair enough. So it fa fair dues, fair dues. I guess it goes to the basement. Yeah, I guess it goes to the basement. Huh. Well, Psychology, hell yeah. A secret trap door in his office that goes to the basement. Maybe it was here before this was his office. He's like a million years old. This has always been his office. It's probably for storage. Yeah, or so that he can make a quick getaway when the heat comes down. Uh, okay. Or it's for storage. Go ahead, open it up. <laughs> All right, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so. You're being dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climb down. Fine. I will. Still, I'm gonna die. What's down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What, what, what? It's nothing. Oh, man. I had you go in there for a second, didn't I? No. Maybe. Just shut up. It is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so... Is yeah, that okay, the I'm basement that... thingy was in in the first... Okay, so the ladder's broken. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You that looks hope very Mr. uncomfortable. Mr. taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> ring a ding -a ding Oh, sorry, bud. Gotta take this one second. Hello, Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What can I do for you on this darn tootin' doozy of a day? Is that your impression of Mr. H? Uh, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I- you're absolutely right, he does need to be nicer to Dylan. And, uh, what's that? You want him to give Dylan his phone number? That's a little forward, but I can see what I can do. Smooth. <laughs> Gays? Question mark? Gay huh. people. Gay people Laura are real. Kearney and Max Brindley. That's them! Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. A list of the counselors' names, personal details, and their tasks at camp. Two names are crossed out. Laura Kearney and Matt Brindley. Why didn't they show up? I bet they died. Gay people are not real. I don't know, theater. I think gay people are real. Oh, gee, think of the children. Oh my god. A younger looking camp leader, Chris Hackett, with his two kids, Caleb and Kaylee. They look happy. So that's Caleb, that's Kaylee, and that's Chris. Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Don't say gay. Gay people are real? Kids, oh my huh? god. I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, 
They are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. What's through here? Nothing we can see, apparently. So, got anything going on? Oh, MG, it's home? Ryan. Oh, MG. Oh, MG. Jerry's out. Understood. Girlfriend? Uh, not exactly. Boyfriend? Boyfriend? Reagent. Cool, yeah. Me too. <laughs> Are the uh, phones. Uh, they could probably use a little while longer. Ah. Okay. Gay people, real? Oh my god, so true. Can't you, like, speed it up at all? I can try to encourage them. Go for it. You guys can do it. It's not working. It's, we're going to have to wait. Ooh. Yo, my guy. Toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. <laughs> Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's... You're not a little bit curious? I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. All right, let me read this. So there's a TikTok story. Uh, there's a, there, there's TikTok somewhere with mutuals with, and we caught it on it saying something uh, kind to their person, and a person caught it. That person's faking. Um, you'll learn this when you're older. Take psychology class in high school, kids. Which, like many things, one don't call a stranger kid if you don't know they're okay with it, which we aren't. Two, we took a uh, psych class lol, and three, psych only has a short portion about a few days about uh, all dissociative disorders, and you can't tell if someone is faking based on uh, the beforehand. If, if for um that info is a 10 plus is old 10 plus years yeah exactly exactly can't promise that but we nothing but that <laughs> you're using that wrong sorry words aren't working no worries no worries huh fashion icon Mr. H knows what he likes sure he does wow there's yo hey hey maybe we shouldn't um uh Ryan I don't ever understand people who like them me either me Whoa, either what the fuck these monitors, this is the cam. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just trail cameras. What are uh -huh. trail cameras? People set them up to, you catch weird random shit like the okay, washing yeah, machine like trail what? camera like why do so much time to fake clean people and you could you know use that, that info to be kind to people exactly exactly maybe he listens to that podcast you know that mr h was into that kind of stuff shit maybe he likes that podcast that you listen to secret hobby i guess expensive safety hobby. stuff fair point yeah well, I mean, what else are you gonna do out here but he's got a microphone yeah i guess camp probably does get pretty lonely oh my god is he a streamer around. yeah is mr h a streamer okay but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet uh i mean it's not exactly secret right <laughs> like it's just hidden by stuff yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. It, it's weird. It's major league yeah, weird. I don't disagree with you, but it, it's it's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure, that won't be an awkward conversation, like at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. 
All right. Well, he's a camp leader I streamer like that girl Haley on TikTok. Layer. Yes. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. Hackett's house. FNAF? Oh my god, is this game gonna turn into FNAF? I love that game. Five Nights at Freddy's. Huh. Max Brindley. I think I do, yeah. I think I do know who you're on about. It was Carl from Detroit Become Human. Yes, yes, I do know who you're on about. That needs to be tuned. Well, there's some pretty heavy duty stuff. To go to a bunch of live streams? Yeah, fair enough, fair up. enough. Just hyperprofen. Yeah, <laughs> it's mainly just hyperprofen, like. Oh, shoot, it's Grace Knight. Right, you know what? We're gonna end it there for today, chap. Um. Yes. Yeah, cool. We're gonna end that there for today. We didn't get into the actual horror stuff, but it it, it was a good um it it was a good uh introduction, I think.